Less than two or 12.2, excuse me, is anti-differentiate sums and differences of powers level two. The only thing that's really different about this is you might have to change how a function looks so that you can do a, a quicker uh, version of what we did on the last lesson. So I don't want any fractions. My first job would be to float any powers from the bottom to the top. And remember that just changes it by making the powers negative. So this would be negative 21x to the negative fourth power plus 12x, float that three up to make it to the negative third power. That's the function that I want to anti-derive. So I wanna figure out what was it to begin with. So then I would just go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna add one to the power. Negative four plus one would be x to the negative third, divide by negative three, plus 12x, add one to negative three, that'd be negative two, divided by negative two, plus my constant. Simplify that, that would be positive seven x to the negative third, minus six x to the negative second, plus c. And again, you could always check to see, is it gonna work? And I would leave it like that. I don't, I don't see a need to put the x to the negative powers back in the denominators. All right, number two, I have a trinomial getting divided by a monomial. When that happens, I can go ahead and divide, divide, divide. <clears throat> So we would rewrite this as x to the fourth divided by x squared, you're subtracting the powers, so that'd be six x squared th plus three, x squareds would cancel out. So that would just be plus three plus seven. Seven doesn't have any x's to divide, but I wanna float the x squared up, so it'd be x to the negative second power. That's the function I would want to anti-derive. And so I'd add one to the power, so it'd be six x cubed divided by three plus, here we have a constant, we just need to add an x to that, plus seven x, add one to the power, that'd be negative one divided by negative one plus c. That would equal two x cubed plus three x minus seven x to the negative first power plus c. All right, and then number three, it's gonna take the longest just because we have to get everything multiplied out. So you would want to do your foiling here because what that means is you got four X minus one times itself. And so I kind of do this in my head where I know this first term gets squared, four X times four X would be 16 X squared. I multiply these two terms on the inside, negative one times four x would be a negative four x. You can see it's happening here. Then it's gonna have a negative four x, so I double it. It'd be negative eight x. And then negative one squared is actually positive one. And that's the same thing I would get from here. So whatever you need to do. But then that all needs to get multiplied by x squared. <clears throat> so I would get 16 x to the fourth minus eight x cubed plus x squared. That's my function. I want to anti-derive with respect to x, so I would get 16x to the fifth divided by five minus eight x to the fourth divided by four plus x cubed divided by three plus c. I'd get 16 fifths x to the fifth minus two x to the fourth plus a third x cubed plus c. And that's it.